Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to give a unique border to specific blocks of text in your Squarespace website to create a really cool looking layout. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there's a lot to customize. So let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how it works. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site, and if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see I have these four blocks of text, and what we're going to do is add a border to separate these blocks. We're going to add a vertical line on desktop, and on mobile, we're going to add a horizontal line to separate them. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on over to design and scroll down to custom CSS so you can see how this works. Now the first part of my code says at media only screen and min width 640 px. That means that this code will only apply when the screen is larger than 640 pixels, which is going to isolate it to tablet and desktop or this style of layout where these blocks will be next to each other. Now the next thing we need to do is grab the unique block ID for these blocks of text. I use a Chrome extension for this, not affiliated with them, but it's linked in the description below. I'm just going to click on that and we'll grab the block IDs for this one right here. I'm going to paste it right here, add a comma, and then I'm going to grab the next block ID and paste that right next to it. So this comma is going to separate them. Let's go ahead and turn that extension back off, and you'll see right away it says syntax error on line three. It's because I'm not done with the code yet. It doesn't have any code to process, so it doesn't know what to do. So let's give it some code. I'm going to open up a curly bracket, and I'm going to say border left 1px solid, and let's just make it a solid white border. There we go. Now this last block, we want to give it a little border on the right as well. So I'm going to enter a new line, paste that block ID, open up another bracket and say border right, 1px solid, and then a solid white. So now we have the border separating those, but check it out. On the mobile version, nothing's happening. That's because we haven't added the mobile media query to target just smaller devices. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire thing right here. I'm going to paste it below and check out this magic trick. Instead of min width, I'm going to say max width. And you'll see now we have those borders, but they're still vertical. They're not what we wanted. So instead of border left, I'm going to say border top. And instead of border right, I'm going to say border bottom. And now we have those lines separating the blocks of text on mobile horizontally and on desktop vertically. How cool is that? Now to learn more about borders, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash border. You can get really creative there. I have some examples of the different styles, talk about border radius, all kinds of information about creating unique borders in Squarespace. For right now in this design, I just wanted something simple. So I went with 1px solid line in solid white to help those blocks of text stand out. So anywho, this whole code is listed in the description below along with a link to this block identifier. Again, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just a fan of that Chrome extension. Extension, so I wanted to mention it. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.